Hello, and welcome back to Pokemon River. Last time, we made it through Viridia Forest, and made it to Peter City, did stuff there, got our first gym badge, and now we're about moon. I went ahead and went to the Pokemon Center to drop off the TM-34 we got for winning the gym battle in the PC. I also took the time to make sure it's fully go. Okay, now, talk to this guy. Sound silly? But let's see what we call this thing. Hmm. This is just
Alright, now that that's done, that is the first major area of the game. There are more. The wall in the cave, a bit of a pick up here and there. What? With that. We picked up some items along the way. Pokemon leveled up, made new moves, and while in there I found Paris. Paris is another one you can catch in Mount Moon. The stats are less than stellar. Bug grass are horribly weak to fire and flying. Uh, yeah. Not spectacular. I won't be using it on the main team. I have plans, though. Some of you may know what those plants are. I'll get to that when the time comes. Also, Emil finally has Water Gun. Remy has Hyper Fang. And, of course, Ken has Quick Attack. Nothing new there. These are the levels. Rain is level 12. Ken is level 14. Emil's 15. Remy's 14. Mushroom. Level 8. Disregard that. <laughs> it won't be relevant. And the items. Got another potion. Another escape rope. TM1. TM12. An ether, which is something that restores 10 power points. Power points being the thing that Pokemon used to attack. Each move has a certain value of those. And... With that... All those trainer fights and stuff behind us. Let's see, now we go over there. We can now head towards Cerulean City. Same as before. I'll be doing the trainer fights off screen. Now with this area, if this was Fire Red or Leaf Green, you'd be finding a couple move tutors in this area. Ah, TM4. There's a trainer there. Let's see if there's anything out here. Oh, that just leaves there. Yeah. This is the only trainer in this area. Which you currently can't get to. Until much later in the game. There's a patch of grass there. You can find... Spiro, another flying type, a really good flying type. Rattata, Pidgey, some more basic stuff. And with that, this is Cerulean City. I am going to heal real quick. Alright, I also stuck at the PC to deposit some items. Yep, the last item that was obtained in Mount Moon. There was a Moonstone, which is used to evolve certain kinds of Pokémon. That was found early in the cave. And then at the end, there's a trainer, beat him, and you get a choice of one of two fossils. The Helix Fossil, or the Dome Fossil. Both of which, as well as well, all the fossils in the series, First in only having three of those. The Helix and Dome are the, are the choices that you get presented with in Mount Moon. Those fossils, as well as the third, called the Old Amber, it, you get it later on in the museum, I believe. Pewter Museum, I could be wrong about that. But... With the fossils, you take those to Cinnabar Island, so you, right until then, they're just 
dead weight. The dome fossil will become Kabuto. The helix fossil will become Ammonite, both of which are rock, water. They're okay. I, pick I went with the dome fossil, because I feel like Kabuto is the better of those two. The, thir the old amber fossil, that becomes Aerodactyl, rock flying. Oh boy. Give that thing hyper beam and watch it rip things a new one. If you've played some of the second gen, or even first gen really, Lance and his Aerodactyls, well, one Aerodactyl and his impossibly level Dragonites. Now with all of that rambling out of the way, we can now take care of a few miscellaneous things. Now, the only real major things you can do here that are actually in the city, you can stop at the Pokemart if needed, and you could take on the Cerulean Gym. However, I might stop at the Pokemart to pick up some stuff, but I won't be taking on the gym yet. There are a few things that you can that need to be done before taking on the gym. Among those, there's arrival fights and some other stuff. Some some a little bit of what's in store. And I will go ahead and head on that way. <laughs> Pokemart, actually. There's also a bike shop here. This is where you get a bike. But not yet. You have to progress through the game a bit. Let's see what do I need. Really? Oh, yes. Do want repels. I'll get a few. Uh, yeah, repels. They prevent wild Pokemon from appearing. The default repels. They prevent Pokemon from appearing for 100 steps. There, and there are super repels, which work for 200 steps, and max repels, which work for 250 steps. Each one costs more than the last. Repels. Oh boy. It's in caves, like in Mount Moon. They are a godsend. I will be using them in some of those areas. Uh, they will they will only actually work if you if the they will only repel things that are less than your lead Pokemon level. So if they're equal to or greater than your lead Pokemon's level, they won't work. Just uh, an FYI. Now, for real, let's go take on that rival fight. It's up that way. First thing I want to do, I want to go ahead and save. And then I will take on the rival fight. Change of plans. This video's gotten kind of long, actually, and well, we got a lot done. Got through the first big dungeon of the game. Got to the next city. Hot stuff. So actually, we will be taking on the rival fights and the other stuff I mentioned in the next episode. So yeah, rival battle, trainer fights, and. Bonus! Yeah. Special surprise in the next episode. So, see you then in Pokemon Red version.